In this video I'm going to show you how I made LED Pong 2.0. This is my latest version of this Pong game where it has some new features where you can supercharge the LED and it turns blue and it's only 6 millimeters high. It uses uh, just basic components because I wanted to mass produce this for one of my activities at school. Uh, here's a handy list of all the parts. It's just using the Arduino Nano, a TP4056 charger, uh, speakers, some switches, um, and a WS2812 addressable 5 volt LED strip, and a 3.7 volt battery. It costs about uh, three bucks. Instead of 3D printing, I like to use a laser cutter because it's a lot faster and you can produce lots of them. And I just uh, used a three millimeter board and just put everything on to get together. So I hope you enjoy. And as always, CAD files are in the comments and code, so you can download it and build one yourself. You want to make sure it goes to the right. This is very hot, 350 degrees.
Now we can put the speaker wire to the rightmost pin right here. I'm just going to strip it just by peeling this a little bit off and then wrapping around Wiggle. Break that off. So to put this on, you want to get it to, I'm using pins D4, 5, and 6. So I want to put this right at D4, 5, and 6. Just so it comes out. And I'm going to solder those pins on. Just putting in a little bit. And then with that sort of soldered on, what you can do is bend. I'm just going to bend this out like that. Then I'm going to take this off. So I had the one pin with ground, four, five, six. That are gonna get lined up where D4 is five volts, D5 is the data, and then D6 is ground. Just pushing that flat, I'm just going to do the ground pin first. Okay. Oh. Oops. 
swiggle it. So that's about the design and all you have to do is connect it to the computer, upload your code and you're good to play. Enjoy! Play? Oh, it gets so fast! <laughs> the Grand Museum is not that. No. <clears throat> okay, you won. Nice. If you like electronics, you can check out one of my other videos and uh, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.